loves. <laughs> we got a lot of trash to talk about. So if you'd like to see what's in my overflowing so much, so much empties container, then just keep watching. Superfood Complex Bubble Bath and Body Wash by Shea Moisture. I Um, this was really good. I bought it when I traveled for work. It smells amazing. I used it as a bubble bath, not a body wash. Would I repurchase? Uh, I mean, I I might would, but I wouldn't go out to the store specifically to get it. Okay, next we have two of these. These are the Ulta Beauty Sugared Vanilla Ultra Rich Body Butter. I do really enjoy these. The smell is divine. It just smells like vanilla. Um, but again, it's like the bubble bath. Were they great? No. Were they good? Yeah. <laughs> Would I run out and purchase these? No. If Ulta had another really good sale, like buy two, get two free or something like that, I would pick them up, but they're not on the top of my need to go purchase list. I went through a vitamin E moisturizing skin oil. I got this from the Dollar General. Yes. I actually poured this in my bath, just a few drops, like a capful with every bubble bath that I took, and it did really moisturize my skin. So. Yes, I will be running to the DG to pick me up some more vitamin E. <laughs> All right, I went through my Pure Miracle Mist, and I love her. So, yes, this was fantastic. It's got this refreshing uh, citrus smell to it. It just makes your makeup kind of blend together, takes away that overly powdered look, and it's got a little moisture in it. So, I love this. will absolutely, absolutely be per repurchasing this. I finished a um, OGX Extra Creamy Coconut Miracle Oil Body Wash. Loved it. Loved it. Uh, last time I was at Walmart, they didn't have any. So I'm going to Walmart today. Hopefully they'll have them, and I am definitely going to repurchase. Whew. I finished an IGK Beach Club Volumizing Texture Spray. It was okay. I don't really like the way texture sprays make my hair feel. So, overall, this is probably my favorite texture spray, but again, I'm not a fan of texture sprays. So, I will repurchase because there are those days that you need to add a little grit to your hair. <laughs> so, I will repurchase her, but again, I'm just, I hate texture sprays, but sometimes they serve a purpose. Okay, I finished the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. This is one of my probably top three uh, setting powders for the face. This one is very matte. So for the winter, I tend to go more towards the Too Faced um, Ethereal setting powder because it has just a little bit of luminosity to it, whereas Laura Mercier is matte. Um, but she is a holy grail. At some point, I will repurchase. I finished the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Concealer. This became my go-to numero uno holy grail concealer. I love this concealer. I'm trying to get through some concealers that I have um, before I repurchase, but when I need to purchase a concealer, she will be my bitch. I finished a Dr. Teal's foaming bath. Y'all know the drill. Every empties, I have at least one of these. I love these bubble baths. In the same line, I finished a Dr. Teal's Epsom Salt. I have started purchasing the Epsom Salt more than the bubble bath. I put a little Epsom Salt and then like a little oil in the tub, and it's just, oh, I feel like I'm at the spa. Like, I just, I'm leaning more towards Epsom Salts than bubble baths. So, yes, I already have one in my, in my bathroom. I went through two tart shape tapes. Do you know how long it took me to go through the tart, tart shape tape? 
this was a holy grail for about two years. I could not find a replacement. Nothing was as good as this. But I noticed this year it started just getting very cakey and drying. Um, so once I found the Laura Mercier concealer, I just used this to put a base down under my eyeshadows and quit using it as an under eye concealer. So I will not. I know. Like, what? <laughs> but I will not be repurchasing the Tarte Shantae. I went through the Way Texturizing Hairspray, y'all. I've already went through the Texturizing Spray Drill. Uh, this was not my favorite. I like the IGK one a little bit better. This was not great. In fact, I think there's still a couple uses in there, but... Did y'all hear my son? <sighs> Jesus, take the wheel. Okay. I finished the Marianella Hawaiian Black Lava Body Caviar with Charcoal. I got this in a Fab Fit Fun. And I gotta tell you, I was not a fan of the scent. It has a masculine smell to it. But it did make my skin feel so soft. Um, would I repurchase? Probably not because the price point on this, holy shit, for a body scrub? No, especially when I don't love the smell, but it did feel really, really, really nice. I went through a Rose Kombucha by Pacifica. It's my shit. It's my jam. It's a holy grail. I already have a new one in the bathroom. I went, I went through a lot of setting powders. I went through a Peach Perfect by Too Faced setting powder. Love her. She's just like the Laura Mercier. She's one of my holy grails. She's in my top... Mm, she might be number two. She might be number two. Will I repurchase? Yes, 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 and yes. <laughs> I will. Um, I'm getting ready to try out the Hourglass. and I, So I ordered the Hourglass setting powder and I ordered the Too Faced Ethereal setting powder. I've used the Too Faced Ethereal for a couple years now and I like it better in the winter months because this is like the Laura Mercier. This is pretty matte. Um, so... I probably won't purchase again until the spring or late winter. I finished a native deodorant. This is the only de deodorant I've used for a year. Um, it comes in like a monthly subscription. I don't do an unboxing for it because it's deodorant. <laughs> like, and I know what I'm going to get every single month. I always get the uh, coconut and vanilla. If you know me, that didn't surprise you, did it? Coconut, vanilla. That's my jam. I finished a little mini all-nighter by Urban Decay. I only buy the minis of the Urban Decay all-nighter. When I'm at the checkout at Ulta, you know how they have the mini sizes of like everything? I always pick up one if I'm out because I do like this. It's just so matte and so drying that I don't like to use it every day. So I always have a little one on hand, but it's not a common usage. It, it's not in my everyday routine. <laughs> um, but yeah, I will repurchase another small one. I finished the Tatcha the Deep Cleanser. Um, this is like, this is a clarifying cleanser for normal to oily skin. It's a little too drying for my skin. I have normal to dry that can get oily on occasion when it wants to be finicky, but I, I can't use anything particularly for oily skin because it dries it out. So, it was good to for an exfoliator, and if you have oily skin, you might would love it, but I will not purchase the full size. I went through a Moroccan Argon Oil. Um, I got this in one of my Benevolent subscriptions. It was, it was good. Um, I use this for totally random things. Like, I would put a few drops in my hair sometimes, or um, I did use it on my face. I just used it for random things. It was good. It was an argon oil. You know, I think you could really buy just about any brand of argon. Argon oil. This is another benevolent box. This is Punk Volumizer Mascara. I did really like this mascara. I think it kind of compares to the Too Faced Born This Way. 
But this is something that's not available at Ulta. It's not available at Sephora. It's not available on Beautylish. So I'll probably just get Too Faced Born this way. Comparable, same jam, same deal. But if I got to go find a website to order it from, I'm not going to order it. Um, I finished the Lancome Energy Devi. Uh, <laughs> this is really just a toner. It's a toner, but it's got a creamy texture, not a watery texture. So it does put some moisture in your face, but Lancome is not cruelty free. So no, I will not repurchase. I went through the Watermelon Glow Sleeping Mask. Wasn't a fan. Will not repurchase. The Kush Milk Mascara. Loved this mascara. I want to purchase the full size because if you watched one of my previous videos from last week, I'll put, I'll put it, the card here. Um, my go-to jam mascara is not cruelty free. But I loved this trial version like freaking loved it so i need to purchase the full size because she might be the bitch that lets me get rid of my lancome mascara i finished the pistache pistachio oil body butter the scent grew on me <laughs> you know when i first purchased it i think i did it at monthly favorites and i said it was in my monthly favorites because it makes your skin feel so moisturized and so amazing. It's just, ugh. But I didn't like the smell. But the smell did kind of grow on me. It's still not like, it's still not like a favorite scent, but it grew on me. I, I might repurchase. I might repurchase because it did make my skin, <laughs> it did make my skin feel wonderful. I finished a little La Mer, the Moisturizing Cool Gel Cream. This was okay. It was okay. For La Mer ticket price, no. No, no, no. It wasn't that good. I will not be purchasing. I finished my Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. This is one of my Holy Grail creams. This is all I used last year. I love this cream. I said I was going back to all of my favorite skincare products because I just I'm sticking to my regular skincare routine so I bought this small one but uh, temptation gets me sometimes and so I see something I'm like oh let me try you let me try you out so I have pretty much st stuck to my holy grail skincare routine except for my daily moisturizer my night is is it's there. We're, we're there. It's it's my holy grail, old school skincare routine. But my day moisturizer, which is when I usually use this, I'm trying a new one out. And I kind of love her. I kind of really love her. So I'll probably repurchase, but I'm really liking what I'm using right now. So I don't know. That's a maybe. I finished the Tarte Clean Slate um, Timeless Smoothing Primer. This is a fan freaking tastic primer. I am definitely going to repurchase her. I actually, she's in my Ulta shopping cart right now. Um, but I've got a um, from Sephora with the VIB sale. I ordered a pore perfecting primer, so we're going to try her out. We're going to see if we like her better than the Tarte. If we do, we've got the new primer. If we don't, <laughs> we're going to repurchase. I finished the Bye Bye Under Eye Eye Cream. I really like this eye cream. It was a good eye cream. Nothing spectacular though. I have found that there is not an eye cream in this world that just knocks my socks off. And I read this article that said, you are wasting your money buying eye creams because all you need to do is put your moisturizer under your eyes. And I'm starting to believe that that article is correct. So, if you know of an eye cream that will knock my socks off, let me know. But, no, I probably won't repurchase. Okay. I finished a Skin Iceland Hydro Cool Firming Eye Gels. These feel so good under your eyes. They're cool. They're soothing. They're moisturizing. I love them. I have some still in my skincare drawer. But, when I run out, I will definitely be repurchasing. 
Okay. I finished the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. <laughs> um, Stila is not my favorite. This is not my favorite. This is probably my number three. My number two is the NYX Epic Ink Liner. That's my number two. My number one is Kat Von D, but the uh, NYX Epic Ink and the Kat Von D are so comparable that I've just been using the NYX um, Epic Ink. But I did get a sample of the Fenty Beauty liquid liner and it is to die for so if i go repurchase another liquid eyeliner which i have not been wearing liquid eyeliner lately but if i do go purchase a liquid eyeliner i'm getting the fenty it was amazing okay last but not least i finished my fenty beauty um pro filter sample deluxe sample that i had from sephora this foundation is amazing. I loved it. And I just purchased the full size with my VIB coupon. So, there, oh wait, no, one more. The Hemp's White Peach Rosé and Peony Body Wash. Loved it. Loved it. Oh, this smells so good. And I still have some of the lotion left. I have like half a jar of lotion. So I really do need to pick this up. I love it. It's fantastic. Oh my God. No, there's one more. Jesus. Um, I finished one of the Grande Lips Hydrating Lip Plumper. I love these. They don't plump like your lip injection by Too Faced. They don't plump like that. In fact, they don't really plump. They really just make them look a little more luscious, I would say. Um, but they do moisturize. So this was the one I would use every night before bed. And I did like them. I may, I still have two left, but the two are, they have color. So um, I can use color before bed. I can use a little pink on my lips before bed. Make your lips look a little luscious before crawling, crawling in the bed, right? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I really like these and I will probably repurchase. All right, that was a lot of stuff. I went really quickly. I'm not doing a favorites this month because I don't really have any favorites this month. Um, so I guess I, I guess I could talk about because I only have Two? I only have two favorites for this month? Damn. Really? Just two? Well, um, so one of my favorites from this month is this Wet n Wild Cushion Foundation. Y'all, I have pulled for this every single day since I used it. I love it. it. There's just something about it that is perfect for my skin. It's just, it works so well for my skin. Um, and the days that I did not pull for this, the days that I pulled for some other foundations that I know and love, I was disappointed that day. I would just look at my skin and go, it just doesn't look that good today. But when I wore this one, it just looked that good. It, it just looked that good. Um, so this is the only favorite that I will talk about. I have one other, but it's a skincare favorite. So I want to do an updated skincare routine. So y'all gonna have to wait on that one. But if I did a favorites video, it would have one little lone soldier. Just one little boo thing. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> All right, my loves. I got stuff to do today. So until next time.